So you should have the domain and range packet in front of you. We're going to review very quickly about what domain and range is and how to find it. And then we're going to work on three problems together. So remember, domain is your x values. So your domain is your x values. It's like if you hold your arms out next to you and it's from your fingertip to fingertip. It's like your wingspan. So and it goes from left to right. So domain is the x values and it goes from left to right. Every single time domain x is left to right. Range is the y values. And the y values, your range, is like your height. We measure your height from your feet up to your head. So it's from the very bottom of your feet to the very top of your head. So y values go from bottom to top. Because it's like your height, your feet to your head. Remember, we also talked about yesterday that if you have arrows, that means that it doesn't stop. It doesn't have a specific point. It's going to have an infinity. So on the x-axis, the right side is positive infinity. The left side is negative infinity. On the y-axis, the top is infinity. The bottom is negative infinity. So if you have arrows, you're going to use these infinities, either positive or negative, depending on if it's the x or the y. Okay, so the first problem we're going to do is problem number one. A student rode a bike from school to a recreation center. The graph shows the student's distance in miles from the recreation center after riding the bike for X minutes. So our question is, what is the range of the function for this situation? So range, remember range refers to our Y values from the bottom to the top. So I'm going to come over here and look at my graph. I'm going to look at my graph from the very bottom of my graph to the very top of my graph. And remember, range is all about the y values. So what is this very bottom y value? It's zero. What's this very top y value? It's nine. So our range goes from 0 to 9. So normally, we would write 0, some space, the y, the 9. And we'd pick a number, and we'd plug it in. So I'm going to pick, say, 2. 0 is less than 2. 2 is less than 9. Both of those circles are closed. But when I look at my answer choices, my answer choices don't look like that. My answer choices are, are in words. So let's read through these answer choices and see which one it is. Remember, our range goes from the bottom, so the bottom y value, to the top y value, so from 0 to 9. If we look at our answer choices, A says all real numbers greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 28. We just said our range goes from 0 to 9, not anywhere near 28, so A is gone. B says all real numbers greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 9. So that one's a possibility because it has the 0 and the 9 that we have. Letter C, all real numbers less than or equal to 28. Again, that 28, we have nothing to do with 28 on our range. Our range goes from 0 to to 9 because it's the y-axis. So C is gone. D says all real numbers less than or equal to 9. Now what that means is that it's all numbers less than or equal to 9, that it never stops. So that it would be 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, but then it also includes 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. Does our graph go beyond 0? No. So it has to be letter B. So remember, your range goes from the very bottom of your graph to the very top. Use the marker to highlight that for yourself, okay? The next one we're going to do is problem number three. Problem number three says, what is the range, 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 sorry about all the moving of the camera. Okay, so range. 
Is range about the X's or about the Y's? Range equals the Y's. So what I'm going to do before I do any work, I'm going to look at my answer choices. I know the range has to be about the Y's. So two of my answers say X's. So they're gone. I know without doing any work, A and C are gone. If I'm looking for the range, that means I have to look at my Y's. Now, my next thing, when I look at this graph, is this graph continuous or is it discrete? This is a continuous graph because those dots are connected. So continuous means I go from the very bottom for the range, the very, very bottom of the whole graph, to the very, very top of that graph. So very, very bottom, very, very top. The middle part, doesn't matter what it is. Doesn't matter what's going on in the middle. Doesn't matter if it's up and down and all over the place. It only matters, matters about the very bottom and the very top. So what number is at the very, very bottom of this graph? Negative three. What number is at the very, very top of this graph? Four. So it's continuous, so I put negative three and four, and I put a Y in the middle. Pick a number between negative three and four. I'm gonna pick zero. Is negative three less than zero or greater than zero? Less than. Look back down here at this negative three. It was closed, so that means it's an or equal to. Remember the zero that we picked a second ago? Is zero less than four or greater than four? It's less than. And is that circle closed or open? It's closed, so it's an or equal to. So I want you to write this note at the bottom of that page. Close circle. Close circle will be less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. Open circle will be less than or greater than. So the closed circle is the or equal to stuff. The open circle is no or equal to. The next one we're going to do is number seven. We're going to do a domain problem. So number seven, find the domain of the function represented in the graph. Before I even look at this graph, domain means x. Domain is x, domain is x, domain is x, 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 x. So look at my answer choices. Can I get rid of any of the answer choices? Before I even look at the graph, before I even do any work, I can get rid of A and I can get rid of C because they have a Y in the middle. And domain is all about the X's. So now, now that I've done that, I can look at my graph. Domain goes from left to right. It's your wingspan. It's how far your arms are apart. So left to right. Far left, far right. So far left. What number did I just highlight on the far left? It looks like negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five. I'm gonna put my X in the middle. What number did I highlight on the far right? One, two, three, four. Pick a number between negative five and four. So I'm gonna pick zero again, because that's an easy one. What is negative five compared to zero? Is negative five less than zero or greater than zero? It's less than. Look at that circle on the far left. Is it open or closed? That is open, so that means it's just a less than. Look over here, remember the zero? Zero, is it less than four or greater than four? It's less than four. And look at that circle, it's closed, so it has to be an or equal to. So now let's look back at our answer choices. Which one is that? Answer choice B. So you are on your own to work now on the rest of these problems in this packet. 
use your marker to highlight for the domain far left, far right, and look at your X values. For the range, highlight the very bottom and the very top and highlight those Y values and really pay attention to those. Also pay attention to the open and closed. Also pay attention to arrows because those are important.